Oh, okay, this. Now, this is what I'm the most excited about. Look at this. Hey, guys, James here today, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today, we're going to be reacting live. Well, it'll be live for me, not live for you, to the Sims 4 Discover University trailer. Actually, just before we do go, we should probably just talk about the picture that's, like, right here. So we've got... There, there's apparently two universities. We have the University of Brychester, which was the one I was invited to, uh, which is this mascot here, like the dragon. And then we've got, like, the lobster, which which was, I think, the University of Foxbury. And we got kind of a pick of the world. We got some older styled university buildings here by the looks of it. So that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm definitely keen to see what it all looks like. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> don't get my hopes up like that. Soccer. Bikes. Hello. Oh, old style university modern. University of Brychester, that's where I'm going. Oh, they've got debate, <laughs> they've got debate teams. Oh yes, robotics are coming back, baby. Dude, I used to love doing robotics in like Sims. Oh wait, do they have cubicles? <gasps> they've got cubicles. Okay, stop the presses. There are cubicles, public bathrooms are official. Does that mean we can finally make a servo, like an actual proper one? Ping pong, but where's the pool table? More parties and study. Yep, classic. TP, nice one. <laughs> oh, oh, graduation, oh, do they have like a ceremony, like a party? I'm not seeing any pool tables though. Okay, sweet. All right, let's, I guess now we gotta go back and have a closer look at everything. Okay, now we go back through the trailer and actually have a look at everything. So I believe this is Brychester University. So this is the older one. Oh wow, this is, this is getting green screen massively. This is the older one that I got invited to and we found out it's got nearly a millennium of history and it was originally built as a private academy for vacationing royal families. So it's obviously got that really old classic university vibe about it. So this is, I, this looks like, I guess a central quad kind of area. Hopefully they're doing like some actual group art project here. That's kind of cool because they're all there together and it's not just something that they've set up. But these definitely all look like new uh, images, especially this. <laughs> what is that? Oh, a little cat. Is that new? I don't know. See, yeah, okay, the problem with like casts and stuff, I don't really know new cast up. I assume that these hairs are new because I, I don't recognize them. There's the football down there or the soccer ball, as I like to call it. And it's actually cool to see that they can actually kick that around. I wonder if there's any more than just soccer or if they or if that's going to be like the kind of only sporting activity we can do. It'd be really cool to see a lot more hobbies in the place. And this obviously looks like the more modern university. Let's just go forward here a little bit. Oh, she hit him in the face. That's fine. Ah, oh, then the bicycles break out. Here they come. This is actually going to be kind of interesting. Number one, really cool that we finally have them too, but I'm definitely interested to see how well they're going to work. I mean, some of the worlds, to be fair, in The Sims 4 are actually pretty big and they do take a long time to get around. So assuming that we can use these bikes in more than just the new world, they could actually be quite useful. I think specifically around like Del Sol Valley, some of those areas are massive. <laughs> like, like up in the mansion area and the hills, trying to walk around that takes so long. So a bike could actually be useful, assuming it's quick and snappy and they can just jump on it whenever. And good to see that they are promoting safety. They've got the helmets on and they've got this guy in the background in this freaking like robot advanced human outfit. Let's just keep going forward here. So we've got another bicycle here. I mean, I think it's the same. I think it looks like the same one, right? It's just recolored. Yeah, it's the same bike because I was just checking to see if they've had different handlebars or anything. Now, actually, what would be really cool is if they added in lime scooters, electric scooters. That's what they should have had. <laughs> so I can live the scoot life in The Sims. All right, so let's go back through here. So obviously these are the two different universities. Got a guy jogging past, whoops. So we can sort of see a little bit of the world. It'll be interesting to see how big this actually is. It's always hard to tell in the trailers. And it'll be interesting to see where our actual buildings are and which are the actual buildings, if any of these are buildings. I can't really tell. Got a few food stalls down the bottom there, quite obviously. Got the bicycle going past. Look at them, oh, look at them cycling around. 
So this is a really nice view of this area. I'm really wondering how they're gonna how they're gonna structure this, like with the worlds and all that, and if it's gonna be different neighborhoods, same world, or if you can only go there if you're going to university, or if you can just travel there whenever you want. Because typically in real life, you can just go to a university if you want. You can just wander around. There's no reason you couldn't do that. So it'd be interesting to see how they actually approach this one. So we can sort of see the flick between the two areas here. So we've got the more modern one. It goes flicks over here to the older town, which actually kind of looks like it might be the... Same area, I can't really tell. Maybe it is the same area. Really nice canal and like little bridges here. It looks super European. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Amsterdam with those bridges. I mean, only because when I think of a canal and a bridge and these houses, I think of Amsterdam. That might be completely wrong. But anyway, let's continue. I love that these like two mascots are like sort of battling it out here. Anyway, so we go through here. We got the girl on the bicycle. Have a look at the university in the background there. University of Brychester. So it's nice to see that they actually climb on and off the bike. She hits the kickstand as well. But I'm assuming as soon as you do that, it probably just goes, boop, pops in the inventory. Or maybe it does just stand there and you can just like live drag it. That'll definitely be interesting to see. Now this I think is really cool. If this is like, if this is done really nicely and we have like actual debate battles and you can sort of prepare for them, that'd be pretty cool. And I definitely love that the two universities are against each other. I think that'll be a really interesting dynamic to see play out. And I hope it's like more than just a surface level thing. I really hope that it's got a little bit of like gameplay and definitely a way to get more stuck into it. I'm going to assume that's a new hair. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely new clothes, obviously. Nice little podium. She got absolutely destroyed because she's running out of there. And then we're back outside. Here's it. So th this is looking... I'm actually kind of interested by this. I wonder if this has any gameplay or if it's just a suit that they've made. Like, that's kind of what it looks like. So it'll be interesting to see if it's just an outfit. I mean, it probably is just an outfit, but it's kind of funny. Riding through Foxbury. We got the bicycle again. The same bicycle. I don't think I've seen a different one. Uh, currently, I've only seen the same one. And then she's got a drone as well. Which is interesting. So I guess they're adding new drones with this pack because we had some originally in Get Famous. So I'm actually pretty excited by all this like robotic stuff because I'm hoping that we get some really fun things that we can actually build. Because like way back in the day, like Sims 2, you could do uh, robotics and you'd sort of build up your skill, you know, eventually be able to build a servo robot, which is like the humanoid one that would come and like take care of stuff. And you could add them as a Sim as part of your household. I would use that robot to build additional robots and then use those robots and sell them in my retail store. <laughs> it was the best. Uh, also it looks like you can, I guess you can probably build the drones in here by the look of it because there's one on the floor there. Oh, that hair is actually sick. That's super cool. I didn't really notice that the first time around. That looks sick. This guy looks like he's having fun too. Also, just the detail in this robot. I mean, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the color of it, like the blue and all that, but I love like so many little details. I bet they had fun making this thing. Like you can tell like an artist went in here and had a ball, like sort of just putting all that together. Oh, okay, this, no, this is what I'm the most excited about. Look at this. You know how many times I've tried to build cubicles? How many times have we all tried to build cubicles? And they never work because you can't really, you either build it out of walls and then you can't see the walls, and it's dumb because how many cubicles are full walls and the half walls came out, but the half walls don't get... I'm so excited. I Dude, I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. <laughs> And also, by the way, the, the the classic like person going to the cubicle to cry and then their friend coming to help. Oh, isn't that funny? That That's cool. Well, not funny. You know what I mean? But like, isn't that a bit of fun? Like that they got that deep. I hope that this is, again, like an actual thing, not just that they've set up. Oh no, she's thinking about the girl that's in there crying. Dude, the cubicles though. <laughs> this bathroom is sick. Look, it even got the latch and it's got, oh, it's so cool. I don't know. I, I'm legitimately so excited about that. It makes community lives way better. All right, so you can see that they've got like partial, like she's got only one arm thing going on here. They've got some enhanced eyesight and then he's got the full suit over there. So I'm wondering, I'm, I'm really hoping that there's something cool going on there. Oh, he's staying late. No sleep for me tonight. And then they're going out to the bar. <laughs> Who would have guessed that we would get more bars? <laughs> How many bars do you reckon there are? To be fair, universities, you know, and bars kind of go hand in hand. But still, you know, <laughs> we didn't need more bars. Anyway, this is really cool though. The ping pong table. I think that's going to be sick. Now, the only thing I'm sad about is I'm not seeing any pool tables. If this is the pack. Also, I guess we don't know, at least not from this trailer, if there's going to be any dorms or like, we don't know if there's going to be, oh, number one, also keg. We've got keg stands back again, which were in the Sims 3 University as well. So that's sweet. There's obviously juice, lots of juice, apple juice in there. She's got a sweet arm thing on. Any hidden little details? That looks like a regular bed. That looks like a nice Kallax uh, from Ikea there. <gasps> Mini fridge. Guys, we got mini fridges! <laughs> finally, they're finally back. I think they came in University of the Sims 2 as well. 
So that's really cool to have that back. And then obviously preparing a project. This also looks very Ikea. Like a lot of this looks Ikea inspired, which I guess makes sense because Ikea is cheap and affordable and I love Ikea. So it goes well in dorms. So this is, a, oh, well, I guess, you know what? We probably do have dorms because this is like a shared bathroom quite clearly. Uh, and then because you've got the mascot walking through in the background and they got these sort of showers in here. And it looks like we have shower woohoo. Dude, I wanted like shower woohoo for ages and so many people have also wanted that. <laughs> like, so I, I'm wondering, I assume it's only in the shower because it's clearly like private. So that's kind of interesting. And then the lobster guy walks past, we're back at the debate and she looks like she's built up and studied and he's getting owned. He got schooled and then they're out here TPing. I'm wondering if this is university v university, like they go to the other one and TP it. And then the graduation, so this is kind of cool. Uh, it looks like it's just gonna be probably like a party or something like that, like a pretty standard party, ping pong tables there. Very nice, nice to be able to celebrate that though. Seeing if there's any little hidden gems in there, any pool tables, <laughs> not that I see. But obviously you can play some juice pong again. There's our robot friend and there we go. So discover, the Sims will discover university trailer. That's the trailer, there's probably stuff I missed. Let me know in the comments down below, but let's go ahead and learn more. Do we have a release date? Cause I didn't see it in the trailer. Ooh, this looks different. Some other, other like screenshots here as well, actually. Ooh, oh no, no. Mini fridge, definitely. <laughs> They've got some beds, got some drones, robotic arm. Wait, is that? Oh, no, I thought her arm was replaced. Oh, wait, maybe it is. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Interesting. Okay, I'm not seeing any date announced just yet, but let's have a look. So we got the key features. Okay, well, yeah, live in a dorm room or off campus. Makes sense, that's good. Good to see that there's dorms back. I really hope they're done well. I really, I love living in dorms. Like if you've been watching our Sims 2 Let's Play, we've been living in dorms there. It is fun. You meet a lot of characters there. Explore Brychester on a bicycle, spend time in the student commons and have a study session at the library, cheer on the student body at a school spirit event and wear school colors to show your Sims pride. Day class. Sims enroll in the university that piques their interest, finding classes in biology, computer science, art history, or even villainy. Okay, well, here we go. Attend a lecture or work on term papers and presentations. The more your Sim learns, the better they will be in careers like teaching, law, and engineering. Okay, well, those are all new as well. I actually love the teaching career in old games. That's always fun. I love becoming a teacher. Going to classes or blowing them off will affect your Sims grades, so time management is a must. Good. Good, I hope that's a challenge. I really hope that's a good challenge to it. Meet, mingle, and explore. How you seem embraces college life is up to them. They can study all night to complete homework or chill out and sleep in. And with activities like juice pong, juggling a soccer ball, and hanging out with roommates, taking a break has never been so fun. Plus, your sim could join school organizations like robotics, debate, art, or even a mysterious secret society. <gasps> Dude, Secret Society and Sims 2. Oh, and we got into it. That was fun. I'm so excited for that again. As the school year progresses, Sims become their best selves and discover who they are meant to be. Express your campus style. Make your Sims space cozy with a dorm room decor that reflects their personality with objects like posters and a mini fridge. Yes, we saw that. Then develop their personal style in any way you choose, whether wearing late for class sweatpants or their best self slacks. There's always a way to show school spirit or impress a classmate. So those are our key features. Does Origin say, anything more. No, it's the same. But we do have some screenshots as well. So we got a few screenshots. These are the same ones that we use on the website so we can sort of see them a bit better here. So we can see our sim down there on the bicycle. Uh, I wonder if they can stack it down the stairs. Obviously, <laughs> I doubt it, but that'd be quite funny. Now the bike down there, got those guys over there. It's a nice big open area, but I am definitely wondering where the lots are and how many there are because you know, in the past our worlds have not been that big. So this will definitely be interesting. We have a nice still of the robotics lab as well which is kind of just what we saw in the trailer. I don't think there's anything particularly different here. And then what I can assume is potentially a dorm. Cause it, I mean, it seems like a party, bit of party lifestyle. We can see a few new objects in the background, some new windows as well. And classic Converse shoes. I don't know, have we had those before? I don't know. Uh, the keg, you know, people sitting around, but I think that's kind of all we can see right now. But there you go, The Sims 4 Discover University. The trailer is linked down below if you want to go watch that yourself again. Uh, and also link the sort of more information page if you want to find out more about it and read all that kind of stuff too. Let me know what you think down below. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely excited. I'm really, really hoping that this pack has some good depth to it and some gameplay challenges because some of the previous ones have kind of been lacking that. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely hoping that we get something pretty special and pretty unique with this pack. Something especially different from the last two university packs that so we've obviously had this expansion twice before in The Sims 2 and in The Sims 3. So he is hoping that this one brings something new to the table, something challenging and something to really refresh some Sims 4 gameplay. But thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.